The Northern Gateway Pipeline Project is a proposal to build a dual pipeline connecting Alberta's industrial heartland with a marine port on the coast of British Columbia. Ships would bring petroleum condensate to the port in Kitimat, where it would be pumped through the pipeline to Alberta. The condensate is mixed with bitumen from the oil sands to make dilute bitumen, or dilbert. The dilbert could then be pumped out to Kitimat at a rate of 525,000 barrels per day. Around 220 tankers per year would then ship this product to markets around the Pacific Rim. Under the terms of the Canadian Environmental Assessment Act, a project like Northern Gateway must pass an environmental assessment before it can go ahead. As part of this process, public hearings were held across Alberta and BC where individuals and organisations could express their concerns, support and opinions about the project. This video uses quotes from these hearings paired with photographs from my own journey along the proposed route to look at how local residents connect to the places they call home. Now, let's start our own journey in Bruderheim, Alberta.
These were some of the voices from the joint review panel hearings, and after reviewing over 110 individual testimonies in detail, I believe these quotes represent many of the main ideas expressed by people who live along the proposed pipeline and tanker routes. People have expressed why these places are important to them and how they feel threatened by this project. Enbridge's own risk assessment shows that a full-bore pipeline rupture or a large tanker spill are probable occurrences. So when the federal government says this project is in the best interest of Canadians, which Canadians are they referring to? Certainly not those who live on the islands of Haida Gwaii, whose very livelihood and culture would be destroyed by a tanker spill. Not the people of Burns Lake, where the pipeline would pass just to the edge of residential areas and under the wetlands that connect Burns and Decker Lakes. And not the First Nations who live within the area of Treaty No. 8, whose treaty right to hunt, fish and trap is greatly inhibited by the fragmentation and fencing of the landscape. These Canadians have the most to lose, and the Northern Gateway pipeline is clearly not in their best interest. A better pipeline would be no pipeline, no tankers, and therefore no problems. Say no to the Northern Gateway pipeline. It's just a bad idea. Make your voices heard. Contact your MP and MLA and express your opinion.